Welcome friends to another 40k video. Today we look at the first legion of the Imperium, of course the Dark Angels, and we move through a selection of their secrets. Secrets held from others within their own ranks, secrets held back from other chapters, and secrets held back from the Primarchs. Now top of the list was going to be the Lion, secretly sleeping within the heart of the rock, but as he is now awake and active in the galaxy, he dropped off a list completely. So we have another at the top of this list. The first one will be the Orders of Battle, which are secretive military orders embedded within the wings of the chapter. Examples will be the Death Wing and the Iron Wings. The role of these independent warriors embedded within the wings is protecting part of the chapter's overall secret battle law. They would operate in small cells and could be found gathering before a battle in a group called a Cenobium, and they would advise commanding officers through telling them what they know through their area of expertise. They could also have members within several rings if it suited their purpose. As to the law they protected, this varied. One dubbed the Order of Shattered Crowns, looked at identifying and executing enemy leaders face to face. Other secret knowledge was in anti aircraft defences finding and eliminating Xenos of a psychic or parasitic nature like the Crave. Another was fighting on icy wastelands. Another yet still was ambushing and hit and run tactics. Another held a detailed account of the second Rangdan Xenocide and could help fight the Rangdan if they ever rose again. And the 500, lastly, are named because they were the first Dark Angels to stand with their Primarch, the Lion L. Johnson on Caliban, and their focus was how to fight best alongside their mighty Primarch. Next up are the Fallen, those who sided with Luther against the Lion, and have forever been hunted by the Dark Angels since. But there is a little more nuance to this with recent lore developments. I'll be drawing on Lion Lord of the Forest. In that novel, he meets one of the Fallen, who was on the planet Caliban when he struck out at it, learning of the betrayal of Luther. But there were those down on the planet that only fought with Luther. They had not sided with him or fallen to chaos, and after the end of Caliban, they were scattered throughout the warp, and thus scattered across time. And it's under this knowledge that the Lion meets one of his sons. The Lion asks him if he remained faithful to the tenants of the Dark Angels, even as he was hunted by the Unforgiven, who view all of the Fallen as the same. The Angel said he did remain faithful, and so the Lion accepts him. The only exception to this are Fallen who have been corrupted or tainted by chaos, which is a step too far even for the pragmatic Lion. The Dark Angel who aids him is joined by others, and after a time, they become known as the Risen. Next on the list, and my favourite, is the fact that the Dark Angels have secret access to weapons from the Dark Age of Technology. This is under the Order of Santalis. Even the master of this wing says he does not know what is inside. To access what's inside, they must unlock the Dread Wing Protocols, and there are lots of beauties within this armour. From a grenade that houses warp-born mind worms, to weapons that can destroy a person's actual soul. And there are even darker secrets within, one of which is the dreaded Silica Animus. They are the bastard offspring from the Men of Iron, and were given under the endorsement of the Master of Mankind. But this is a secret not shared with the other Primarchs, and not shared with Mars, who in particular would find this distasteful. This silica, whilst attacking the Dark Angel's enemies, is kept on a dead man's switch, should it ever attack the angels themselves. And there are weapons of a greater power as well. Gene phages that wipe all life out on a planet within a few hours. Magma munitions that can tear the heart from a planet from the inside. And finally, the most feared by Mars, the silica veray, nanite scourge technology. And now we look at the secret inner council of the Dark Angels. They were formed after the destruction of Caliban, 
It was they who decreed that no one could ever know about the secret of the fallen, and they also have taken actions to ensure this secrecy is kept. It's made up of the Supreme Grand Master in M41, Azrael, the other Grand Masters and the Masters of each of the wings, and this group must atone for all eternity to end the curse on them of the fallen and remove the secret stain left against their name. This circle hides its true intent, and the faces that have membership on the council as well. Those of lower ranks are shown carefully what has happened without speaking of it directly. Things are told in fable and allegory, hinting at what happened long ago on Caliban. Finally on the list we look at the rock, and to be more specific, something hidden within the rock, the Tuchultra engine. Its point of origin goes back to the time of the, the old ones. The engine itself is sentient, possibly through some link to a warp entity. The device, if linked with two others, can make a rift that can bridge both space and time. Just by itself, it can help the rock move round with very accurate warp jumps. The engine was found by the lion, who stopped the Death Guard Typhon from gaining access to it. Later, the lion wanted to use it to penetrate the ruined storm, but this was beyond its powers. It was at some point moved and embedded within the rock. Cypher later tries to use it to change the past of the angels and their ties to the fallen. It was used at this time in conjunction with the two other engines, and with them a warp rift was opened to the ruins of Caliban. Azrael was convinced through words from Ezekiel to leave history alone, and he destroyed the rift before time could be changed. The engine, after, remained on board the rock, guarded in secret by only a few of the chapter. But this guardianship was ended when Vashtar the Archiphane took it, as part of several steps to get access to an old one weapon. He finds combining the Tuchulcha engine with its twinned devices, he can create something called the Dissonance Engine, and the Archiphane then left with these devices in search of the weapon he sought. And that, friends, is where I will end today's video. Are there any other secrets that the Dark Angels have that you would like me to cover on the channel, or you think you should have been on this list? Are there any other top five style videos you would like me to cover on the channel? Do you have a secret tie to the Fallen? Comment down below.